Hello everyone, it's PK from Wiring and Chris, and we are gonna show you today how to install the new fuse panel yep. in a 914. So we're gonna use your shop car here to do that, and we'll give you some pointers and some tips, and uh, kind of walk you through the process, maybe a time lapse, so you have a visual to go by when you install your brand new fuse panel. What's up, Jay-Z? All right, yeah. So here's a new product, the 914 fuse panel. Inside, we'll find a bag of fuses for every single model of the car from 1970 to 1976. We'll find a fuse panel and new mounting screws. So here we have an already assembled um, fuse panel with all the new fuses. When you get them, you'll, all of them will be in the bag and you'll just have to insert based on either what you see on your fuse panel or the recommended fuse ratings from the user manual. We're gonna mount, match this um, fuses that Peter D has in his car right now. Step number one when we're working on the electrical stuff is to remove the battery ground so we don't create any shorts. So this one's already been removed. Step one, remove your battery ground. Got my screwdriver, my new panel, my mounting screws, and now I'm going to switch out. First, unscrew it from the mounts. Then I'm gonna go and switch out the relays. Then I'm gonna switch the wires. All right, I'm gonna give you guys a little tech tip on installing the relays into the recess on the panels. And that goes for any Porsche owner if you're using the round relays. I'm down here in everyone's favorite place in a car is under the steering wheel and under the dash. You gotta be a bit of a contortionist and make sure your patience level is on maximum. I don't know if I would want my three-year-old boy running around right now. Ooh. Here is how I go about installing the relays into the holes. So. You are gonna buy some of this lubricant at Home Depot, maybe, somewhere else. Hopefully you can get a smaller bottle. And then you're gonna put a dab of that on the back side of this little nipple, where it's gonna go through that hole there. Sprinkle some of this on. I'm doing this with one hand, so pardon me. And then I'm gonna put my phone down here against the handbrake. Show you guys what to do. I take a stubby screwdriver like so. And there's a hole inside the relay socket. Put the stubby screwdriver through. And push. Okay. You just have to be careful that you don't jam that screwdriver through the relay socket. It's possible, so just keep an eye out for that. Just a quick note, we did move this um, relay mounting pole just up to the top with the rest of them. Yeah, you're gonna so, have to relocate this, that, that. Yep, that relay up okay. there. What, you've switched the relays over first. Yep. And now, now you're gonna go, how are you gonna do this? One by one with the... With the spades, yep. So one by one with the spades, so you're locating everything as it was before. Exactly. Best way to make sure that you keep the exact same um, connections points and don't mess up any of the wiring. Keep it simple as possible. Now that we're done swapping over both the relays and the spades for the fuses, we're just gonna go and be mounted with your new uh, mounting screws and then we'll go test. So while Chris is installing the new fuse panel, because he's 20 years young, younger than me, maybe even more, I don't even know. I think 20 years younger than me, he can fit there better. You'll notice that wiring there, that's, uh, that's original wiring. So maybe this car is due for a new harness. Should we do a harness install in a four-cylinder 914? Let us know down below if you'd like to see that. So a little quick thing. So part of the fuse panel is a little indicator. So when your fuse is either not fully connected or when it's blown, there'll be a little LED that lights up here. So right now on fuse one, once we turn on the lights, you see this little red light here? It tells you that the fuse is either blown or not connected. Right now, we don't have one connected in, but once you go and add in your new fuse, Pop back on your panel, and then turn on your lights again. 
the light goes away and telling you that the fuse is reconnected and your um, lights are back on. Good job, Chris. Good work. So we just finished installing the panel and let me just do a quick test on everything. So we've got heaven is working. We have the wiper working. So just when you guys are done, just do your quick test, make sure everything's working. Um, and if not, we'll also be here to you know, provide support for you guys. Boom. We are using also a power supply to monitor the current draw of the car. So that's super handy. I think this uh, installation is said and done. Boom.